Americans, what do Europeans do that you find really weird? I lived in Europe for two years. One thing that stands out is people were much more fashion conscious. I view clothes as a fabric that I am mandated to wear so that I am not arrested. Edit, I am happy this has sparked so much discussion, some people in the comments have listed ideas of why this may be, which I find fascinating. Is it individualistic versus collectivistic thinking? Is it because of deeper economic divides? Some agree with my observations, and others do not, which makes perfect sense as this is all based on anecdotal evidence and no actual statistical data, I'm not sure how you would quantify fashion, anyway. I am disappointed in some presumably European commentary. If the average American adopts a more practical attire, that doesn't mean this discussion is an opportunity to insult those choices. People can dress differently and still be worthy of respect. If you disagree with someone's preferences, you can still respect them and their right to do it. From a personal perspective on fashion, I work hard as a scientist. Just a generation ago, people came to work wearing ties, dress shirts, slacks, and dress shoes daily. Dressing in such a way does not affect how well I can perform my job, and it would just cost me additional time and money. I feel that this situation applies to other parts of my life. Whether I go to the grocery store in athletic clothing or a tuxedo has no bearing on my ability to shop. People have requested more perspective on my anecdotal evidence, which makes sense, I live in Chi the third largest city in the USA, and when I was in Europe, I lived in a tiny town in the UK for two years called Harrogate. It was surrounded by farmland and had well under 100k people. Thanks, everyone. Great talk. I do find it a bit odd that everyone sort of agrees nothing happens in August. Like, for a whole month, you better not need anything done, even doctors seem scarce. Edit, to be clear, August is the vacation month in many places in Europe. While August is a popular time to go away in the US, summer vacations seem more distributed through the school less months. In Europe, however, it just seems understood no one will work in August, or at least a large part of it. Schools close and offices have a sort of agreement of taking two weeks off in August, but they don't have an agreement on which ones. So yes, basically everything will be closed and all the people will be on holidays all around the world. It's basically the EU version of the Ramadan, don't plan anything in the EU in August, not even holidays, it's not gonna be cheap at all. In Sweden it's more like mid-June to mid-August. Mostly due to a legally mandated right to take four weeks continuous summer vacation. Gotta make the most of the brief period of warmth and light when you live this far north. This is kinda annoying as a Swede. We're taking our vacation in July, so any interaction with, say Germany, is basically down. They can't reach anyone, and then when we're back. Well, people have to take their 30 days of vacation a year at some point, so might as well all do it when it's nice weather and agree that nothing is getting done. Dude I wish America was this way. I could work so much harder if I knew I would get a good solid regular break at some point. The endless, vacationless American work culture is so soul-sucking. I wish this were the case in the South, USA. It's hot as fuck in August and the schools have mandatory dress codes so you're going to school, and work, in long ass pants. It's oppressive. I worked at a spa and people all around the world would come. The Europeans were so comfortable w getting naked like it's nothing. Mind you this is 5 stars, celebs and MS universe models come to this spa, and Europeans will walk naked like nothing. Edit personally I don't care about nudity but I can understand others not wanting to see or junk, so it's not a sexual problem thing for me, I just don't wanna see it. Edit 2 for the slow ones who keep saying don't look, I worked there and there was averagely 50 plus naked men at attendant in the locker room, every corner you go there there. Because in most of Europe, nudity is not inherently sexualized. Being naked doesn't mean being sexual and it's something we grew up with. 
it's definitely not for everyone, especially in modern days, but there is a larger prevalence of nudist beaches etc. American beauty standards are not healthy, not everything should be a beauty competition in my opinion. Body positivity is even in Europe sadly not as widespread. In addition, the more a naked body is the norm the less you start sexualizing everything. It would even go as far as saying seeing people naked takes the tension out of future interactions. Especially for friendships between opposing genders. I think that depends where you go. If you're in the US and only spent time in Manhattan, Chicago, Miami LA, etc., you'd notice more people dressed in a fashion-conscious manner as well. That's just PAR for the course living in a major city, which is where most Americans sightsee while visiting Europe. What's wrong with being okay with being naked? They're all bits that most adults have seen plenty of times. I'm an American for the record. I just don't see why nudity is such a big deal. Not trying to say anyone is right or wrong I'm genuinely curious why people are seemingly uncomfortable with nudity. My girlfriend doesn't like being naked but won't tell me why. She just says she doesn't like it and I'd rather not press the issue and potentially make it worse. My wife I are American but lived in Guatemala for many years. My wife still has a luggage tag that says Guatemala on it and at one point we were in an airport in Europe and a young boy from Spain pointed to us and said, in Spanish, something like mom, look those people are from Guatemala and the lady looked us up and down and replied no, they're American, look at their shoes. I laughed out loud and the lady realized I understood and started apologizing, but I didn't care. I am not ashamed of wearing comfortable shoes. This is what I noticed in the States. I'm from the UK so we aren't exactly fashion icons or anything, but when I was in the States I felt like the majority of their fashion sense was terrible. Not that it truly matters. The guidebooks for Paris said to dress nice to not stick out like a tourist. So I went around with a buttoned shirt tucked into dress pants, wore dress shoes, and used a messenger bag instead of a backpack. Too bad it was late July and in the 90s. But being ignored instead of badgered was nice. This is easy in Finland. Just wear black and you are both fashionable and practical. Flying through Paris, and the cleaning staff at the airport are better dressed than me. Oh yeah for sure. Like I work at an office in DC with a bunch of European expats and they all dress so much better than Americans. The Italians in particular. Like no matter how old they are they dress fashionably. That's very different from America, where people tend to just give up on fashion once they have kids. My spouse is Dutch and will be visiting her family soon and she's like I have to find real pants now, if they see me wearing leggings they'll think I'm an American. <laughs>